What's going on everybody? David here. Today I want to talk about how to download an ICC profile and how to install it into Lightroom. So this is, it's very easy. A lot of people don't know about ICC profiles. So it's important, it's very important when it comes to printing because you want the printer to understand exactly what type of paper that you're using and how to print on it. So if you're, let's say you have a Canon printer and you're using Canon paper. Well, that's not really a big issue because Canon has all their papers already profiled and all you need to do is tell the printer what paper you're using and you're, you're set. Uh, however, if you're using third-party paper like Red River or uh, Hanamule or Canton paper, you're going to run into problems because Canon doesn't, recognize, doesn't uh, automatically recognize the, the different papers. So you need to download their profiles and put those profiles on the Lightroom and then that will allow the printer to understand how to print on the paper. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I have here Canson and let me start from the beginning here. This is a Canson paper, their, can their website. So when you click on their website and all paper websites should have ICC profiles. Um, here's the ICC profile link here you just click on that and it will take you to this next page here and what they want to know is what type of printer you're using so go down I'll say I'm using Canon because that's what I'm going to be using and then you need to find your printer so let's see it's all the way down at the bottom here I'm using the Pixelma Pro 100 so I click on that and so now it will open up all the different papers that Canson sells and so you just need to find the paper that you purchased and we'll just say uh, photo luster and then you go down here and you just download so it's going to download that profile for you and I just have it going to my my desktop so we'll click on that and once the profile is downloaded you'll have it'll open up here and what you have to do is you have to separate so you, you need to open it up and you need to just grab this file here and I like to copy it just take it out completely out of that uh, the zip file because you're not able let me let me show you what I mean here so you understand so if I'm here and I just I went through the zip file clicked on it I went to the profile this is what I'm looking for this is my ICC profile now if I right click on this these are the options that I have and it doesn't have the option to install so I just copy it close out of this and I can put it anywhere really I'll put it uh, let's see, ICC here we'll just put it here actually I already have one in there so let me let me just leave it there so I have I have the profile in there so all you do is cut paste put it anywhere other than desktop I like to have it somewhere else so now that I have it here all I need to do is right click when I right click now I have different options and one of the options is install profile if I click on install profile it will automatically install the profile to the computer so from that point I can just close out of here go into my Lightroom and you're going to want to start up Lightroom again. However, I have it already in my in my profile, so I don't have to do that in this case. So now I'm in the print module, and I have my my uh, image here. So I'm down at the bottom here, and as you see, this is my profile. So the current profile is this Moab um, exhibit paper. So if I were to print, and I were using, and I was using Canson paper the printer will get a little confused because it's not going to understand it's going to think it's exhibit paper exhibition paper I should say and it, and it's not going to print it's not going to be the best quality print because it thinks it's something else so what I need to do is I need to find the paper so if I'm using photo luster paper from Canson I need to find that profile so what I do is click on here and it's up here because I've already pulled it in but I want to show you if it's not so let's say it's not up here you don't see it up here and you go all the way through all the different profiles you don't see it so what you do is you click other when you click other you're gonna open up this screen here and you'll have some other options here 
And as you can see, uh, as I was saying, if you have a Canon, I have two Canon uh, printers, you have all these different profiles of all the paper that Canon makes. And that automatically comes with, when you buy the printer, it's going to have all the ICC profiles set up for that. So if you buy Canon paper, you're fine. You're, you're, you're ready to go. Now, if you have different type paper, like this is Hanamiel paper, uh, this is Moab paper, you're going to need to download their profiles. And so that's what I that's what I've done. So let's move her down, move down. And let's see. Okay, so Canson's at the very bottom here. This is the paper that I need. And you see there's a check mark there. You want to make sure that's checked. If that's checked, then you click OK and then it will bring up the profile. So now I just go in here and this is the profile that I want. Click on it. So there it is. Color management, everything is controlled by the, the ICC profile. So you want Lightroom to control everything. You don't want your printer uh, driver to control the color management or anything because it will get confused again. Uh, and so the ICC profile will do everything. Now the Canon printer understands that you're, that you're printing on Canson paper and that you're using um, Photo Luster. So that's all I have for you guys. If you have any comments, please post them below. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.